Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to grant permission to individual fields or columns in MySQL server. So think about a scenario where you have a table, maybe employee table that has the first name, last name, social security number, email, and you need to provide the permission to some user to select some of the field, but you don't want to give them permission on social security number. You don't want to give them permission on email. Otherwise, you are scared maybe that user will take those information, sell in the market, or maybe just send them random emails. Okay, so we can do that in a MySQL uh, server. How we can do that? Let's log into the MySQL server. I'm going to log into the MySQL server with the root user and uh, let me provide the password. Okay, so we are logged in. Show databases. I'm going to see the database uh, here. So we have uh, different databases. I'm going to use Tech Brothers IT new database. So use Tech Brothers IT new show tables and uh, we can see the tables employee and manager okay if I will say describe uh, employee let's see what happened it will show us the list of the columns and uh, data types uh, and the uh, null values or not null and default so that, that describe will kind of give us the definition of employee table if you notice I have first name and last name I'm uh, I have email I don't want to uh, tell the uh, if I want to create a user test I want to give him permission only on first name and last name I don't want to give him permission on email or any, any or any other uh, columns in the employee table fine we can do that so we'll say create user and uh, it's going to be test at the rate localhost and uh, then identified by so let me tell you this story because I, I made this whole video last time and I have somehow the password was not working here so I didn't remember like what password I put it so I had to remake this video for you guys it's alright though but now I remember what is the password so my password dollar sign 123 okay go now we are going to say grant select let me do the clear screen so if you want to clear the screen in my SQL command you will say system clear okay so hit a couple of uh, enters and we will say grant select and then you provide a list of the columns so first underscore name last underscore name on okay from which table so we have employee table okay and uh, uh, two and we know that uh, that's going to be test at the rate uh, localhost that's all so whenever you want to provide a selected permission on selected fields uh, here you will do that so you will have a grant select or you can have a grant update grant delete and whatever you would like to have it here and then you will say uh, the column list and then on the object here we have only employee table if you would like to do more you can get, say uh, like let's say tech browser it new dot asterisk that means on all the tables but all the tables are not going to have these columns so probably when you're working on these uh, limited uh, permissions you will be going by table by table and then you will say on the uh, test uh, user okay one row affected the flush privileges okay privileges good now if we want to say show grants for we can say that and that should show us the permission on only two columns here okay so we can see that we have a test localhost that has permission on first name and last name I'm gonna go ahead and exit from here and come back as a test user mysql u root sorry test and dash p okay I remember my password this time so I don't have to recreate the video again okay cool I'm logged in and if I'll say show grants it will show me uh, which user I am yeah that's what I am test at the red local host and which permissions I have so system clear will clear the window okay now we'll say uh, show databases so if you remember we have provided permission on only one table in Tech Brothers IT new database. So if I go to the use Tech Brothers IT new, and now if I'll say show tables, you will see only employee table. And if I will say describe employee, 
so let's see if I have even permission to do that yes so it is telling me you have this table has only two columns and that's false information because as a root remember we knew that this table has a lot more uh, different uh, fields but uh, as a test we have only do two columns uh, that we have permission on okay great so if we do select asterisk from employee we should be able to see only two columns data okay what it is uh, select man denied for user for column ID oh okay <laughs> that's another thing so if uh, you have provided a uh, even it's showing us uh, describes showing us only two column if you will do asterisk uh, you're gonna get error because it was try to select everything that's uh, I will say that's a bug because once it has a permission on uh, only two column and uh, describe is also showing two columns why you are trying to access the ID but it's okay we will always type it so select first underscore name last underscore name from employee now we should be good you can see that uh, it showed us uh, all those fields. So select X trick is not going to work for you when you have a limited uh, permission on a uh, few columns and their table has more columns. Okay. So what else we have from here? Let me see. Grant permission to individual fields. Yes. So we are we have covered uh, right now. If we go back here, we have covered uh, select permission the same way. If you want to provide the update, um, remember uh, to this user we have provided. Uh, only uh, what you call the uh, the select permission so if we will try to delete it will not let us delete it okay so the delete command to user is failed so we have only select permission on this column okay this table employee and only on two columns first name and last name so if we want to provide uh, the other permission such as insert update and all that that's the uh, script is going to be the same so you will say grant update list of the column so list uh, column one column two okay column two and the dash 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 comma dash dash whatever the column list you want to provide on so uh, table name okay and then you will say to user and the other rate local host or whatever the IP you have for that user okay so the same way if you want to do grant update and insert you can do it again so there could be complexity in the inserts and the updates so let's say in the inserts uh, you are providing this permission uh, maybe this is computed column and all that so you cannot really use those kind of things so you have to uh, kind of test this one in the dev I will say uh, check these uh, permissions and uh, there could be scenarios where uh, these um, permission even you have it remember we had uh, uh, the described call table was shown as the first name and last name remember and when we try to select asterisk from that table it tried to bring the ID so if you are inserting some records there you know in some column that maybe there is another column depending on that call and another column so there could be some small issues with that so but you will be able to figure out uh, but uh, the grant is going to say grant update comma insert uh, or whatever the permission you want to have it from here and then uh, uh, list of the columns on object table on uh, uh, to the user so that's how it is going to work for you thanks very much and i hope this video helped go ahead and subscribe if you like my effort making videos for you guys thanks